The grizzly bear is the second largest land carnivore in North America. They are 3.3 to 9 feet, or 1 to 2.8 meters in length, and weigh 800 pounds, or 363 kilograms. When they stand upright on their hind legs, they can reach 8 feet, or 2.4 meters tall. It is distinguished from other bears by the large shoulder hump that supports its massive front legs, its extremely long front claws, and the concave facial profile of its large head. The grizzly bear's fur is usually darkish brown, but can vary from ivory yellow to black. It has long hairs on its head and shoulders that often have white tips and give the bear the grizzled appearance from which it derives its name. Despite its large size, the grizzly bear has been known to run at speeds of 55 kilometers an hour. It has well-developed senses of smell and hearing that compensates for its poor eyesight. Historically, the grizzly was numerous south into California and Mexico and ranged across the western half of North America, approximately to the eastern boundary of Manitoba. As human populations have grown, the grizzly's range has gradually shrunk and is now limited to Alaska, western Canada, and parts of the northwestern United States. Grizzlies are highly adaptable and flourish in high mountain forests, subalpine meadows, arctic tundra, wetlands, grasslands, mixed conifer forests, and coastal areas. Although sometimes portrayed in the media as voracious predators, grizzly bears are normally reclusive creatures. Grizzly bears are intelligent, curious, and have an excellent memory, particularly regarding where food sources are located. They have good eyesight and excellent senses of hearing and smell. Grizzly bears are active during the day and night, but will often alter their habits to avoid humans in areas of high human use. In the heat of the day, grizzly bears will rest in daybeds in dense vegetation. Bears are generally solitary, although they may tolerate other bears when food is plentiful. Grizzlies have a social hierarchy in which adult male bears dominate the best habitats and food sources, generally followed by mature females with cubs, then by other single adult bears, sub-adult bears, who are just learning to live on their own away from their mother's protection, are most likely to be living in poor quality habitats or in areas near roads and developments. Thus, young adult bears are most vulnerable to danger from humans and other bears, and to be conditioned to human foods. Grizzly bears are omnivores. The most commonly eaten kinds of plants are fleshy roots, fruits, berries, grasses, and forbs. If grizzly bears are on the hunt, their prey can include fish, especially salmon, rodents like ground squirrels, carrion, and hoofed animals like moose, elk, caribou, and deer. They are especially good at catching the young of these hoofed species. Grizzly bears can also target domestic animals like cattle and sheep and cause economically important losses for some ranchers. The National Wildlife Federation has a program on national forest land surrounding Yellowstone Park to prevent attacks on domestic livestock by purchasing the grazing allotments from ranchers. Winter can be very tough for many species of wildlife because the season brings harsh weather and little food. Grizzly bears hibernate in warm dens during the winter to minimize energy expenditure at a time when the natural foods are not available and to permit their tiny young to be born in a warm and secure environment. Throughout the summer and autumn, grizzly bears build up fat reserves by consuming as much food as they can find. In late fall or winter, the bears find a hillside and dig a hole to serve as their winter den. When inside the den, grizzly bears slow down their heart rate, reduce their temperature and metabolic activity, and live off stored fat reserves. Pregnant females give birth in the dens and nurse their cubs until they are large enough to venture outside in the spring as snow melts and new food becomes available. Depending on the length of the winter season, grizzly bears can stay in their dens for up to seven months. They don't even go to the bathroom during this time. Grizzly bear hibernation is not as deep of a sleep as some other hibernators, like bats or ground squirrels, and they will quickly wake up when disturbed. 
Movies and television shows will portray grizzlies as aggressive towards humans. However, humans are the greatest threat to bears. These bears keep to themselves and avoid humans. They will flee from dangerous situations, but will become aggressive when threatened. If animals or humans try to harm grizzlies or their cubs, the bears can become violent quickly and will attack. About half of grizzly cubs do not live to reach adulthood because of diseases and grizzly predators that include mountain lions, wolves, and adult male grizzlies. As you can see, grizzly bears are extremely strong animals and have amazing qualities. But can they cope in the African savanna among lions, hyenas, and many other powerful animals? Savannas are home to a wide diversity of animals. The largest land mammal can be found there. So can the most deadly snake, the black mamba. The savanna is most popular with herbivores, which can dine on the diverse grasses found there during the wet season. There are more than 40 species of hoofed mammals living in the savannas. Because there are so many plant eaters, there are also lots of predators. Lions, cheetahs, and leopards can all be found coexisting in African savannas. You can also find jackals, hyenas, and predatory birds. While they do compete for food, some of them survive the same way the grazers do, preying on different types of food. For example, the type of grazers a pride of lions can bring down is very different than what a lone cheetah might try to hunt. At the moment, there are no bear species in Africa. There was a time when the brown bear roamed the Atlas Mountains, where they were once native. They'd made their way from Europe all the way to the top of Africa. The Roman Empire largely attributed to the decline of the Atlas bear. Although they were hunted as sport, the Romans would capture the bears and use them in arenas. The gladiators would take their chances against lions, tigers, and bears. Human activity, overhunting, and the popularity of zoos were other contributions to the extinction of the Atlas bear. In some parts of Africa, like Sub-Saharan, Ethiopia, and South Africa, scientists discovered fossilized bear bones. These bear species existed millions of years ago and are therefore very different from the bears we are familiar with today. Agriotherium africanum was about 900 kilograms in weight. That's more than twice the weight of today's largest bears. Bear evolution reveals that they were fierce fighters with the largest bite of any bear ever known. Due to competition, the Agriotherium africanum became extinct. Even though they were large and capable of fighting, life in Africa was, and still is, difficult. Finding a mate and protecting themselves from threats were also challenges. Because they were mostly solitary beings, grizzly bears are cold climate animals, built to withstand frigid winters in Montana and Alaska, not the blistering heat of Kenya's dry season. In its natural habitat, fat and fur are beneficial, but not so much in Africa. They also spend a lot of time in and around water, hunting fish. The African savanna is a dry place. The grizzly bear would die of heat exhaustion or thirst in a week. Also, because crocodiles abound in Africa's few waters, bears should learn to avoid them. Otherwise, every dip into the water could result in death. Even if we disregard that, bears aren't built to handle the African locals. They're overmatched by Africa's finest in size, power, or speed in nearly every case. The top savanna predators, lions and hyenas, are both social hunters that would probably target a lone bear as prey. There are things they can eat. Zebra, wildebeest, antelopes of various sizes, and buffalo. But overheating would be a major danger. To avoid overheating, big cats only hunt these animals in short bursts of speed. Longer hunts are undertaken by painted dogs, which are small, lean, and built for endurance. A bear would have to kill very quickly to avoid overheating. That being said, we believe that grizzly bears could not survive in the African savanna. Now that you know our opinion, we want to know yours. What do you think would happen if grizzly bears migrated to the African savanna? We're waiting for your answers in the comments. That's all for today. If you enjoyed this video, 
Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share it with your friends. You can also leave a comment with what you would like to see in the following videos. Thanks for watching. See you next time.